behind us, guys have their legs under them. Now we start to see who the top dogs really Damn, are. Damn, man, B, calm the fuck down, my nigga. Shit. The nigga said, fuck y'all. Then it's James Harden. Then it's Joel Embiid. And it's DJ in at the two guard spot. And so it's Charlotte outside, in between. It doesn't matter. That's the DJ. Fires the three. And boy. Makes his first one. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Right side, Dybul. Here's DJ. The three. And the 76ers, another three. Four, three. That's what I'm made for, First Pop. Of basketball just takes uh, out. Hey, when Hayward has the ball, he watches all the oh, angles. That's how he finds wide open guys to feed. <laughs> oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little X. Knocks it loose. Here we go. The Sixers on the break by himself. Oh, a huge slam. An exclamation <laughs> point on that break. Such a savvy defender, Embiid just reads opponents well and loves going for steals. Another miss. Boy, they're in a funk right now. For Philadelphia, they've got 8 of 13 attempts to go. The shot is good by DJ. He's got 14. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Couldn't come up with a much better start than this. They just have to keep it going. Number Building 11. a big advantage early <laughs> with a terrific all-around performance. That shit was nice. They got off to such a that shit felt good. I'm not gonna lie. Duncan that shit. Throughout. Break well to score easy points and keep the defense unsettled. In this league, it is so hard scoring in the half court. So you have to run every time you get the opportunity. At the forward spots, Hayward and Washington. Cody Martin is out there with Terry Rozier. Damn, his ears strong as shit, bro. Roaming the paint. That's the group. can fly away with them, Jones. For the Hornets. And an annual ritual, players finding out their ratings at NBA 2K. All right, Richard, you were customarily their pals. Did they sit me down? Really? Come on now. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Now ball. Two Nine minutes. points in the game. Right wing. Here's Rondo. Oh, uh, I don't know why. I don't know why I jumped up instead of deficit. trying to steal from Rondo. Him, bro. He's got his first points of the night. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, they're trying to close this gap. Mm. That was nice. Get an easy one inside. Oh, there is nothing more fun than putting a big guy on a poster. That is the vision and didn't let up at all. Coaches love that kind of showing offensively, especially on the road. 50 seconds left to play in the half. Here's DJ. Cash. He's 9 for 14 in the game. <laughs> yeah, it's a little nigga, bro. ability to officially score, that's really helped him out in this one. Putting them ahead on the scoreboard. Out both of them. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. Here's DJ. Three pointer. Oh, he drained. Did I get fouled on the, the line? One more. <laughs> look, a, look, a, look a boss face. <laughs> oh my God, bro. How are you going to foul me on a three point? Now I got to make this. It's a four point play, bro. <clears throat> It's a four, four point play conversion, my nigga. And that'll do it for the first that half of play. The six is cool. How you gonna foul me, bro? Damn, it might that much of a threat. You had to foul me on a three. Next to Embiid in the middle. Then it's Matisse Thibel. Then it's James Harden. And it's DJ in at the shooting guard position. Pass the ball. Six to shoot. Three pointer off the mark. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Shot is good by DJ. They've been pretty <laughs> lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three pointers. The Hornets shooting just under 40% for the game. Damn, this is like the All Star game. We just beat them back to back. It's really impressive that LaMelo has lived up to the lofty expectations. Got a piece of it. Oh, bro, I hate my nigga, bro. Sometimes he do stupid shit. How do you get blocked like that? Come on, bro. You making him get close. Okay, let me hit it three. I was trying to dunk on these niggas, but. Tries the nine footer. And then bead with the block. 
Tries again. Hayward's shot is off. Philadelphia's gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Shot is good by DJ. Here in the third, he's really started to heat up from the perimeter. Ooh, I'm fired up to see this dish one more time. It's always great to see your two guards share the wealth. Not just playing selflessly, but also making a smart decision with the ball. Back to Harden. Pass to DJ. Uses the glass to finish the win. As they set their sights on locking up the win, he has to do everything in his power to make this happen. That was another look at our Mobile One drive of the game just a moment ago. Yeah, that's a little icing on the cake right there. Putting on a show while they enjoy a big second half lead. Rozier with it. Fires the three. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Embiid's got his 18th rebound here tonight. All over the place. Shot is good by DJ. And he has flat out taken over this court. And Tucker pulls it down. Tucker's got six rebounds now in the game. Here's DJ. Yes, and a nice assist from Harden. Harden's got five assists tonight. This quarter has been from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Washington against Harden. Here's DJ. Corner shot. Good! That's another bucket. And that gives him 51. Making it look easy. Charlotte has gone one for three. I saw your appearance on NBA 2K TV where mm -hmm. you actually called a fella Appen a dinosaur. <laughs> Is it safe to say you and Mr. Appen are on the outs? Mm, I wouldn't say on the outs, but you got our differences for sure. Uh, well, do you say those stem from reports that you're on the trading blocks? Nate, you can draw your own conclusion on that one. <laughs> but I'm asking for your take. Hey, man, you're a smart guy, you know. Read, read between the lines on that. It sounds to me like you're pretty unhappy here. Honestly, man, most of the time it's been great. Uh, I love my teammates. I love the coaches. I love the city that I play for. So I can't complain, man. It's all been amazing. Okay. What? Don't you love? Mm, I think I've said enough for today. I don't want to be a distraction around here. <laughs> it's a little too late for that, man. Uh, I mean, maybe in your opinion, maybe, but I think I'm going to stop here today. So thank you guys for your time. Nate, until the next time. <sighs> of course. Yo, yo. Yep. Let's, uh, let's talk in here. Well, everything all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, everything's great. I mean, you're doing great. I just, you know. Wanted to talk in private. Yeah, you told the line perfectly. Not too aggressive, okay. not too docile. Oh, the classic aggressive docile spectrum. Yeah, yeah, it's my favorite spectrum. Anyway, we need you to back it up on the court. Okay. Yeah, honestly, we need a huge game from you right now. Like, something that's going to show up on your teammate grade so that you can really push this analytics narrative. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. We need to make it crystal clear that Othella is not on board with the future of the franchise. Mm -hmm. If we can do that while you're playing like an all-star, that will be a huge win for us. Oh, okay. I can definitely do that. Right. But remember, the press might not ask you about these teammate grades. So you might have to steer the conversation in that direction. Okay, no, no. That's <laughs> enough of that. Are you comfortable doing that? Yeah. I mean, I feel like I'm comfortable with pretty much anything at this point. I mean, you can't put the genie back in a bottle now. So, all right, well then. Like you said, just keep doing you. Facts, facts, facts. You're doing an amazing job, MB. Good job. Good. Wow. Was that a compliment? Yeah. Is that a, is that a tear? <laughs> you, know, you, know, you want a hug? No, no, there's, that's hug. enough. That's, I don't, I just, 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 just that's enough. <laughs> Any additional motivation in this one? You look like you reached an extra gear out there. I wouldn't say I had a, any extra motivation, um, but I did get a look at the teammate grade, and it backs up what you're saying. You know, it was definitely one of my best games of the season. Now, you've mentioned teammate grades a mm -hmm. couple of times recently. How important are they for your self-evaluation? Well, listen, man, I'm a full-fledged believer in what this organization is doing with analytics. Uh, and the cool thing is it trickles down to everything that we do. Even our marketing department, uh, you know, does things based off data and research. Uh, shout out to Freddie Novak, by the way. That's my guy. Um, and that's just what I'm all about, man. You know, do things according to evidence. You know, not old wives' tales or superstitions or anything like that. Mm, it makes sense. Hey, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Nate, what's up, man?
You've mentioned analytics and Freddie Novak quite a bit recently. Mm -hmm. Is that your way of giving a vote of no confidence to Athila Akpin? Hey, man, uh, my parents always told me not to say nothing if I have nothing good to say. So I'm going to zip my lips on this, mm. you know. But the things I do decide to talk about, those are the things that I do feel good about. Which means you don't feel good about your relationship with Mr. Akpin. I wouldn't necessarily say that. I'm just excited by what's happening on the cutting edge because that's how you win. And analytics are on the cutting edge right now. You know what I'm saying? But I'm also, in the, you know, the cutting edge training techniques. Cutting edge rest and recovery. That's it. That's all I'm about right now.